Hey, this is Craig Harris. I'm the editor-in-chief of IGN DS, and we're going to talk to you today about Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart DS is essentially the best of the best of the series, which in turn really does make this the best Mario Kart ever made, um, with a, a total of eight characters right away with four unlockables, each with their own racing attributes, so you'll easily find someone uh, right for your uh, style of driving. The single player experience alone has a ton of stuff. You got three standard cups, one unlockable mirror cup. Uh, all told, there are 32 tracks, 16 new, uh, with 16 recycled from the Super Nintendo and 64 Game Boy Advance and GameCube versions of the series. Half the game is, um, is driving, but the other half is attacking the other, other players and defending against their own attacks with all the Mario-style weapons in the game, like uh, turtle shells and banana peels, as well as using mushrooms to gain extra boost of speed. The offensive and defensive elements of Mario Kart DS are extremely well balanced throughout the game, uh, including uh, uh, Bullet Bill, uh, which is a, a brand new addition that turning you into a bullet bill to boost past everybody and taking them out in the process. The only unfair object in the game is the, uh, the dastardly blue shell uh, that seeks out the first place racer and knocks him out. But even this lopsided weapon can be used uh, to the victim's benefit. The, the graphics uh, run at a slick 60 frames per second. It's super fast and smooth. And even though the DS hardware is a generation two behind the GameCube, the designers really do a great job keeping the visual style as close to the last Mario Kart game. The, uh, the dual screen part of Mario Kart DS is definitely not a gimmick. The lower screen uh, can display the whole map or an immediate overhead uh, close-up of your vehicle's location. And this close-up makes it extremely handy to see things like uh, opponents sneaking up behind you or when a turtle shell is barreling down on you. The lower screen also shows the, uh, the position of each player, but it also shows what item they're holding so you, you know when uh, they're ready to throw a red turtle shell your way. Another cool use of the lower screen is in the time trial mode where you're racing against a ghost racer. The lower screen actually shows you the path of, of what the other player did so you can actually follow along on how that person actually did a, a much better lap time than you did. This game has six arenas which can be used both in the battle mode as well as the, the new Shine Runner mode. The uh, Shine Runner mode is a, a new mode where players try to score those Mar Mario Sunshine pickups and have the most of them when time runs out. And this is the first uh, Mario Kart game to actually have bots in battle mode, so you can actually play up to eight players in the arena being controlled by computer opponents. Mario Kart is one of the best multiplayer games in the Nintendo DS. You can have eight players in the network, and you only need one cartridge to do this, but to get the full experience, everyone's going to need a copy of the game. And even with all that wireless traffic going on, the, the game barely lags or slows down with all eight players. Of course, the reason why everyone's looking at this game right now is because it's the first Nintendo DS game to go online. It's also the first time Mario Kart's gone, officially gone online. The interface is elegant, but you have to uh, keep in mind that the feature list is pretty restrictive. You also don't have the ability to choose your matchups. Um, all that work is put on the servers. You can play your friends, but only if you have his, his friend's code, and he has yours, and uh, you're both looking for a game at the same exact time. But even with those restrictions, you still ha you have access to all the cards that you've unlocked in the single player mode. And for personal customization, each player can have their own little graphic icon so people know who's who in the race. Mario Kart is no doubt in my mind the best in the series, and it's easily 2005's best Nintendo DS game. I'm Craig Harris, and uh, this was the video review of Mario Kart DS.